Yo, what is poppin' YouTube? Tempo TCG here, back on the Shuffle Squad YouTube channel. And today, I'm covering everybody's favorite grass turtle, Torterra EX. Now, this deck is... Well, it's a deck that I will say that much. Um, It is really good into Charizard. You do take a couple good matchups. You tank a lot, a lot of damage. Um, It feels really fun to play. It's definitely a good deck locally. And with cards like Cricketune that do give you 40 more HP on top of 340. So you do have 380. As well as cards like Professor's Turo Scenario where you can just loop your Torterras. The deck plays really well. And it kind of, you can just hammer away with Forest March for even 120 damage at a time and then go oh i'll professor turo i'll forest march professor's turo forest march blah 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 so yeah the deck overall feels pretty good i have included cards like the torterra from uh, i think this is brilliant stars as well as the iron leaves ex so that you do take a little bit better of a charizard matchup iron leaves is really great because like you can just play it down and then swing 180 and knock it a charizard let's say you're short with torterra or something but we do also play Maximum Belt as our ace spec of choice, as Maximum Belt just allows us to pretty much just get uh, more damage onto our Pokemon. Like, we can go Torterra. If we've got five, six Grass Pokemon in play, we can swing for that 230 knockout stuff like a C-Pow. And yeah, the deck is pretty simple. It's an Arvin-based deck. We're going to use Arvin to find our Buddy Poffins to find anyway, or not our Buddy Poffins. Well, I guess there's two Buddy Poffins. We're going to use Arvin to find stuff like Nest Balls, Rescue Board, Maximum Belt, and our TM Evos, which are... Pretty much, that's just the name of the game of all of our Pokemon and attack. So yeah, here's the list. We're playing Rabska, Relor, Radiant Serena helps us heal too. And yeah, um, the list will be in the description below. So let me know what you guys think, and let's jump into some gameplay. Alrighty, so it looks like our opponent won the coin flip. They are going to make us go first, which is unfortunate as we really like, we want to go second as we are an Arvin-based deck, very similar to Charizard here. Uh, we do start Relor and Turtwig. Uh, we do have two Nest Balls in our hand, so starting Turtwig feels okay. Okay, because Relor is sometimes a really key component in a lot of matchups here. Uh, Turbo is not a great, uh, not the best matchup for us, to be honest. We can go Nest Ball here. Let's grab this Cricketot. Um, I think Cricketot plus Turtwig are pretty solid starts for us here. Cricketot, Turtwig, there we go. And then we are just uh, going to go end our turn here. Uh, the 380 HP of Torterra is a lot for uh, Turbo Hands. However, we can't one-shot Turbo Hands, which is kind of the issue because, like, even with Max Belt, he's just kind of a little bit too bulky that unless we have a perfect board state, we're not winning. Um, but it, you know what? If they brick, they brick. Um, they get the Techno Radar. They're definitely swinging us for a knockout. I can't say that. Um, so this Turtwig is going to die. Um, and then kind of unless we get just everything going proper, I think we might just lose. Um, maybe unless we go like switch into Relor. Actually, no, I think I think what happens to happen is we have to switch into Relor. We have to Iono because Iono might get us that TM Evo play. They're going to Iono us here. Um, let's see uh, what we get iono into. Gear, Ness, Grottle. Pretty good cards, actually. Like as a general rule, I think we're looking okay. Um, we can Arvin for the TM Evo plus the uh, Vessel, which feels okay. Um, yeah, I actually don't hate this at all. And now we can go Nest Ball. We could go two Turtwigs. We can evolve the one to Grottle first so that we guarantee a Torterra. The generator for two is brutal. If they can get another generator for two plus a Retreat, I think we're just losing. Um, they don't get the attack, which is beyond good for us. Uh, Radiant Serena here is really strong. Nest Ball here is really good. There's our Turtwig. We can go Grottle Evolve. Uh, we can go Sun Drenched Shell to grab another Torterra. Uh, actually, I think our best bet is to grab Cricketune. Get Cricketune into play. Um, and then if we go TM Evo off this Arvin, let's go Poke Gear first. Um, Arvin, Gardenia Viger. Let's grab this Arvin so that they don't know we have another Arvin. We can go Arvin, we'll grab this Earthen Vessel, this TM Evo. And then we can just sack this one Turtwig, I think, which is pretty good here. We can go TM Evo on a Turtwig. We can go Earthen Vessel. Maybe we can Earthen Vessel away this boss's orders. I don't actually know how great this boss is going to be. Uh, we definitely need to keep our Turo for this matchup. We can grab two there. Um, and then if we just go here, Solid Shell, uh, Evolution... And then we can grab, we'll, we'll evolve Turtwig, we'll evolve 
I'm trying to think if we actually want to evolve this Grottle or not. Um, because maybe it's better to evolve Relor. No, Relor, Relor feels dumb to evolve. We'll, we'll grab that. Uh, we could, so we can go into Torterra. Um, we actually don't need to search for that many more. Uh, there's the Grottle coming out. So here we go. And then that's our turn. Um, our board's looking really strong, actually. Like, next turn, we're guaranteed an attack from Turtwig because we can go Arvin for, or from Torterra because we can go attach and then Arvin. Um, the worst case scenario, they eye on us again. Um, I'm not sure if they have it, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, like, sometimes this is just how the deck functions, right? Like, it just goes well. Right? Like here, yeah, them whiffing that turn one attack really helped us. But either way, we just promote Relor and do the exact same thing. Generator for zero feels really good for us. Um, and they don't have any energies to use peak acceleration. They're going to go research. Uh, get rid of Maridon, Countercatcher, and everything. Uh, unfortunate discards, but it is what it is. They're going to go attach to hand. So they're going to arm press here. Uh, at least that's what I'm assuming so. Unless they have another generator that they could go amp. Uh, amp wouldn't feel great for us, but it wouldn't feel too bad, actually. Because, like I said, we've got that Professor Turo scenario. Uh, they really should have just gone for that peak acceleration, I think. Uh, here we can go attach the Torterra, and then we can go Sun-Drenched Shell. Um, we can grab another Grottle, you know what? Why not? Let's grab another Grottle here. We can go Arvin. Uh, Arvin is going to grab us a Switch, and then just this Max Belt is really strong for us. Because the max belt does allow us to swing cards like that Iron Hands. Uh, so here we can go uh, Sun Dread Shell. We might as well evolve a Relor into Rabska. So here comes Rabska down into play. There's no point in getting another Torterra out because we kind of just want a Torterra loop. Um, so we can go there. We can go Forest March, which is going to be the knockout here. Uh, yeah, and then this Iron Hands is going to be two-shotting us no matter what. So this Turo here is going to be absolutely ridiculously strong. Turo plus Max Belt here is guaranteeing us a knockout on this Hands when it comes promoted. And that's just absolutely ridiculous, right? Like, the deck, this deck, like, when it functions can be really, really good. This is an okay matchup for us, especially when they pass for two turns, right? But I guess either of those turns, them taking a knockout doesn't actually change our game plan. It means they have less prizes, but in the end... Like, I doubt they're getting down to one or two prizes, so I'm not really sure because, like, maybe they take two prizes here, maybe they take three, but I don't think they're going to be taking four because I just don't think they have the boss options. I don't think they've got the options to loop attacks here, right? Here they've got a Techno Radar. They're going to be swinging us for a good amount of damage here. Uh, they discard a Poke Gear. Seems like a bad discard depending on what's in their hand. Uh, I'm assuming it'll be Maridon plus Iron Hands. Uh... They really two crowns, so they're just trying to swing really high damage, I guess. Uh, doesn't I actually don't understand the play behind this? They're gonna go nest ball here. Is it gonna be another hands? Uh, then they obviously have a baton, right? Because here, like, they swing and then we just turro and then knock them out, which feels ridiculous. <laughs> now, the energy's being discarded kind of sucks, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, arm press here hurts, I can say that much. Um, but they, oh, they do get an energy onto that benched hands. They're going to go arm press here for 240. They're probably like, okay, that's an amp range for three prizes. And we're like, well, I mean, yeah, it is, but it's not going to happen. We can go pokey gear here. Uh, another Turo feels ridiculously strong. Uh, we can go, uh, let's go Sundred Shell. We'll grab just uh, another Torterra here. Then we can go Professor Turo. Uh, we can go Professor Turo up this Torterra, discard that energy, and then promote this Grottle. Go Evolve. Uh, go Max Belt on, and then Bench a Turtwig. Um, and then, literally, we just are swinging this Iron Hands for the knockout with Forced March here. And then there's that 230. Now, this is why that Max Belt is absolutely ridiculous, right? Like, let's say we're... Like, this is so helpful in so many matchups. We're playing against CPAL. Like, they're not overly likely they're swinging and there we have it they are going to concede so that is the power of torterra ex of uh, the deck like it takes a really good charizard matchup i don't feel like we need to show that matchup too much um it's just you're basically just destroying charizard and they're not ever swinging 340 so yeah that's torterra guys i hope you guys liked the video make sure you like subscribe decklist is down below let me know what you guys want to see next and until next time i'll catch you later
Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG live codes. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content watches what we have going on every single day every single week even from time to time and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the pokemon tcg community so if you haven't already be sure to give this video a like subscribe to the channel and even leave a comment to help boost the youtube algorithm that being said we'll catch you with our next video thanks again take it easy